Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'll teach you something very useful when doing projects. I'll show you how to upload your code to ESP32 wirelessly using OTA or over the air updates. No more unplugging your device when you want to make a small change. Uh, super useful for IoT projects where your device is not that easily accessible or maybe in a remote location. Let's say you are making a water level detection system and after some time you want to make some changes to your code, you don't need to get there, get up to your water tank and do, ne do not need to change the corrections. You can do it right from your desk. So that's super useful. OTA or over the air upload programming allows you to upload your Arduino sketches to a microcontroller wirelessly without using the cables you can send the code wirelessly. Ideal for smart home projects or wearables or anything uh, where the thing is, the system is installed remotely. Here is what you will need. ESP32 or ESP8266 board, Arduino ID installed, USB cable for the initial upload and a Wi-Fi network. Open the Arduino ID, select your board and port. So here I have a Shavu ESP32 S3. Now go to the examples and if you open the Arduino OTA, you would probably see this here there is so many lines it's actually for the purpose of showing some error messages and all and for debugging purposes we are gonna cut this show to just the minimum needed to work by start by including the required libraries for esp32 we will use the wifi.h to connect to the network and arduino ota.h for the ota functionality next enter your wifi credentials make sure the board and your computer are on the same network in the setup function, we begin with the serial monitor so we can debug, then connect to the Wi-Fi using Wi-Fi.begin. Now comes the important part, starting OTA. Just call the Arduino OTA.begin. In the loop function, we need to constantly call the Arduino OTA.handle. This keeps the board listening for upload requests. That's it. This code makes your board ready for wireless uploading. Just upload this once via USB and after that you can go completely wireless. You remember, you still need to upload this code once using a USB cable. Connect your board via USB and upload the sketch. After this, the board is ready to accept wireless uploads. But remember, from now on, whenever you update your code, you must add this OTA code. Otherwise, you will lose the wireless uploading capability. So make sure to do that. Here, I'll just do a blink sketch. Now for the magic. After the first upload, you'll see a new port under Tools. Port with your board's IP address. Select the OTA port, upload your updated sketch, watch it happen, no wires. Also you need to make sure both your PC and the board are on the same Wi-Fi network. Once set up, you can OTA update devices tucked into enclosures behind your TV or mounted on the wall. Combine it with a web dashboard or blink for remote control plus updates. That's how you upload the code or Wi-Fi using the OTA. And if you found this video helpful, give it a like and consider subscribing for more electronic contents. And thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments in what all projects you are going to do with using this OTA.